one. It's John. Hey, uh, this is Mike here. Yeah, and uh, we're Patch Duo, and we're here to talk to you guys about half a dozen reasons why you should integrate mechanical engineering and industrial design. The number one reason I think is a key value of integrating teams is reducing engineering costs and downstream costs. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, once you reach the engineering phase, uh, things can get pretty costly, uh, particularly whenever you need to change the design. So we try to avoid that as much as possible by having industrial design lead. So with a clear direction, mechanical engineering plan can, can be more concise and be more targeted. Um, and overall, uh, in general, that just reduces cost because there's, there's less back and forth, uh, there's less iterations and so forth. So design is kind of like setting that roadmap for them and by, by kind of integrating in a sense, like we're able to kind of test stuff out visually, digitally, uh, before they start to build. Well, let's let's talk about the second reason. Yeah. Um, how about integrated teams? Having integrated teams, uh, what does that do? That increases efficiency, right? Yeah. Because we're able to combine our resources, combine, put our heads together in general. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we share knowledge between uh, engineering and industrial design, yep. and that presents a lot of value to our customers and clients that yep. we work with. Particularly yeah. at her early stage startup. Yeah, and particularly like we find that especially with ones that are um, heavily engineering based uh, client companies that have like medical sensors and things of that nature or uh, electrical components, which obviously, you know, like uh, they definitely need industrial design, but you also need a heavy component of mechanical engineering understanding so that you can, you know, path, you know, cables, um, you know, camera placement, angles angles for, you know, AR cameras and things of that nature. And so uh, by integrating us, you're able to get the best of both worlds, the functionality and the design at the same time without any cost of the loss of speed by doing them separately. Yeah. And this is a good segue into the third uh, reason why we should integrate both IDM and ME. And that's um, innovation it is more likely to happen. Can you tell us a bit more? Yeah. More that, John? yeah, so innovation is more likely to happen just in general with multidisciplinary teams. And so when you have two different perspectives, one being highly functional and about feasibility, which is engineering, and then another one which is you know highly about desirability, emotion, and uh, you know usability, um, human factors, you really tend to be able to leverage each other's ideas because of those perspectives. So what engineering may be thinking is probably not what design is necessarily thinking about, but because we're able to like hear that idea early on, we're able to be like, oh, well, since you're able to you know assemble it that way, what if we did this? And now all of a sudden in the shipping logistics uh, line, we're able to now stack things a certain way and now save the business that we're designing for you know hundreds of thousands of dollars on shipping costs, right? And so there's a lot of uh, innovation that I think uh, you can you can garner from having two different perspectives or five different perspectives even on, on teams. Yeah. All right. So the fourth is one of my favorites because uh, for one, it's designers who understand engineering and engineers who understand design. Uh, why is that important? Uh, more often than not, in the past, I've worked with designers. Uh, uh, we call them people who work in silos. And what does that mean? There, we, we segregate. We have segregated teams. Uh, where you know we have a, a group of engineers and a group of designers. This is a strong disconnect between the two principles. It, it's not healthy for product design because it generates ideas that are not manufacturable and not producible. Uh, and so this is where I see a lot of value is where we can integrate both teams and have eventually developed designers who, who understand engineering and engineers who then are able to comprehend design. Yeah, and that's not to say that, that there's not friction and that friction isn't healthy. I think that's all part of it, but it's that kind of juxtaposition to get osmosis between engineering and design. It just increases our ability to uh, become better at what we do and think a little bit more empathetically about the other side. And so, like, I think, like, number five, um, one one really key reason, and in particular, uh, is is within the kind of realm that we work in which is like startups is that a lot of startups tend to have no money and no time right no time as in they needed products yesterday or they needed a design yesterday so uh, by integrating teams you're able to quickly iterate to to decrease i guess like the time to market this is where we're able to quickly iterate and, and determine what fails so we can quickly 
determine what's, what, what becomes successful. And then lastly, I think like this one's a pretty no-brainer is that when it comes to de-risking manufacturing, you're going to need both industrial design and manufacturing. I mean, there's CMF, there's color materials and finishes, obviously, for when you're doing DVT, um, but you also need an engineer for EVT. And so the sooner you can do that on the front end side together, uh, then you're going to save yourself so much pain and hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on the back end. Good point, John. The further down you move, the more expensive it becomes to make any design changes further down the line. So imagine when you're in production, if you cut a tool that costs thousands of dollars, um, you know, it, it'll cost thousands of dollars to make changes to that tool, and particularly if this is a, a plastic injection molded tool. Absolutely. And so with that, that concludes our half dozen reasons why you should integrate chemical engineering and industrial design. And again, we're Hatch Duo. If you liked what you heard here, subscribe below, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now. Bye.